An aphorism is something that takes a universal and makes it into a material situation. And the aphorism is always, you know, like when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. That's an aphorism. It means something. And everybody knows what it means. That what I present is understandable within the context of where it's being presented. That's it. That's my only obligation. They don't have to agree. They don't have to like it. They don't have to use it, but it has to be comprehensible. Okay? I was one of the lucky ones. I was saved by a public education in New York. But it gave me a chance to see over the edge of the bridge. I was very involved in protests and very involved in things. And then I had to make a decision. Is my life worth helping one person in a dispute or am I better off making a culture that other people can use? And it took me a while and guilt and everything else. And then I said, the hell with it. That's it, kid. Once you sort of take the ticket of being an artist, you, you're stuck with it. Lawrence Wiener first exhibited at the Jewish Museum in 1970 in a group exhibition called Using Walls Indoors. The show was built around the idea that a wall is not merely a surface on which to hang art, but a material for art as well. Lawrence contributed a piece he described as a 36 inch by 36 inch removal to the lathing or support wall of plaster or wall board from a wall. He installed an earlier version of the piece in the exhibition When Attitudes Become Form at the Kunsthal Bern in 1969. A Swiss journalist documented that process. Comment vous appelez-vous? Lawrence Wiener, W-E-I-N-E-O. What are you trying to do? Just remove the plaster. The gypsum. That's all. That's all. C'est tout. Oui, c'est tout. Et avec cela, qu'essayez-vous de faire? Make art. Faire de l'art. At the Jewish Museum, using walls became a site of activism, too. Lawrence and other participating artists, including Robert Morris and Saul Lewitt, shut down the exhibition in May of 1970 as part of a creative blackout in museums across New York City to protest the Vietnam War. Speaking in support of these artists, the Jewish Museum's director at the time Carl Katz said, while the artist's action represents a response to the frustration of our times, I believe that functioning museums can serve to help in the present situation and can be extremely important in our times. Being an artist is a different thing. It's not a bad thing and it's not a good thing. It's just a different thing. It's a different position. That's all. And it's about praxis, P-R-A-X-I-S, not P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E. In preparation for another exhibition, Lawrence wrote to then Jewish Museum curator, Susan T. Goodman, I should like to propose exhibiting a new work presented in language upon a wall in English and Yiddish. The acceptance of language itself as a material, the word, is a Jewish theme. The correspondence led to the work Niter and Brimstone Kept Apart, which was included in the 1993 Jewish Museum exhibition From the Inside Out, Eight Contemporary Artists. Referring to saltpeter and sulfur, which can be explosive when combined, Lawrence wrote that the words function in the same sense that meat and dairy is kept apart to prevent that which would be treif, not kosher. He has shown iterations of this piece all over the world. Judaism is a reasonable umbrella for a lot of questioning and a lot of things and a lot of creativity. Anything that has an answer isn't worth doing. And what we're dealing with usually in art is to find the right question. But there is no right answer. That's it. It's not very complicated. That's the thing with art. That's why you should wait for the time when somebody gets to use it to decide what its use is. 
not first have a use and then find somebody to fit it into. And that's been the basis of my work. I've tried to fake things that people can lift themselves into or walk away from, because I can't make the judgment. The point is, is I think that artists have a social responsibility. And in the end, you have grandkids who are going to say, what did you do during the war? And you should have an answer. In November of 2020, the Jewish Museum unveiled an installation by Lawrence on our building facade. The two-story work is titled, All the Stars in the Sky Have the Same Face, and presents these words in English, Hebrew, and Arabic. The phrase itself is a play on a Yiddish expression, which means all Greeks, meaning all non-Jews, have the same face. It was an expression of self-isolation and anxiety, a response to anti-Semitism that perpetuated the suspicion of the other. Lawrence reworked the aphorism into a unifying statement that speaks directly to our shared humanity in these divisive times. All the stars of the sky, since we know that that's considered a good thing, have the same face. And it's that simple. I read that in our times now in the United States as literally meaning what it says, that all men are created equal. And we've come into a major argument here about all men being created equal. I am an American citizen. I pay taxes in the United States. I believe that all men are created equal. If I'm making something and it turns out it's useful for somebody else in their thought process in their life, I don't know what I'm supposed to say other than that. Art presents something that's a logic principle within the context of what's real at the moment, and that's use. Anything that helps you get an insight into what you're trying to get an insight into is use. And I'm sorry to be so vague, it's just that I can't tell anybody what they should be searching for. Pourquoi avons-nous besoin d'art L'art est probablement la seule chose pour laquelle il n'y ait pas une raison vraie. Pas de raison, pas d'excuse. L'art est quelque chose que fait l'artiste, c'est tout. <rire>